three. One. You always always say one. Cipher, baby, cipher. Cipher, 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 cipher. C O B T V. Are you serious? What's yes, going on? Yes, Welcome yes, to a yes, little yes. thing that we call the cipher. I am your host, Marcus the Kid Warren, and with me is my man Muff. How are you doing yeah, today? That would be this guy right here, and sitting right next to him is a super producer, also known as Woo. Let me get this mic out the way. Y'all are really excited today. Yeah, we really yes, excited. Put that I'm, out I'm there. Excited. Like, these guys are excited. Like, I'm really, excited. Get ready to go. It's been a minute since we've done a segment, so you know we're, we're looking to just to jump right in it. And yo, speaking of jumping right in it, let me give a shout out to some of the people who've been giving us a shout, little bit of love. Shout them out. Yo, first I want to give a shout out to also um, CLB TV, Curtis CLB. Black. He's been uh, he's been doing his thing, letting us get out here and doing our thing. Awesome, I want to give a shout so out. Much. Yes, sir, Curtis. Thank you very much. I want to give a shout out to Pyrex TV and my boy Xavier and uh, Elite Clothing down south. You know, he gave us a lot of love when we was down yes. there. Shout Shouts out to them. I always want to give a shout out to my boy uh, Bootsy Jenkins, who gave us a little bit of love on Facebook. He did a lot. He did a little bit of uh, work with Doom. Thanks, man. Okay. We, uh, you know, man, we did, uh, you know, we did some uh, stuff on Doom like a few weeks back. We're great, great fans of Doom, man. And thanks for giving us a shout us out. Thanks for the love, man. I checked out your clip on uh, on Facebook. It was brilliant, kid. I really loved it. I um, also want to let everybody know if you want to get a hold of us on Facebook, we are the Cipher Crew on Facebook. If you want to hit us up on Twitter, mm -hmm. we are Kid and Muff on Twitter. Um, if people just want to hit us up on our on our uh, email, just hit us up, Kid and Muff forty four at Gmail. Dot com. You yes. guys have anything else before we jump uh, into we this? We did the Facebook, right? Yeah, we did Facebook. Okay. I also want to give a shout out to Johnny Boombats and my man Jay down in D.C. I don't think I shout y'all out enough, man. We love y'all down there shout, in shout. D.C. And everybody else has been giving us all that love yes. all over the freaking um, uh, planet Word. and all over the country. Whatever, Word. Joe. Just thanks, man. And keep them coming. And keep those uh, me keep those uh, music and clips and stuff coming, man. We're going to be talking about y'all in a minute. But first, we want to get to something a little Let's bit get more to important. It. Let's get to we it. We want to talk about Rick Ross. Rick Ross. The boss. Rick Ross, that Rick boss, Ross, man. the boss. Now, man. first, now let me first say something about Rick Ross, the boss. Say something. Let it be said. On paper, this man does not work for me. All right? On paper. I'm East Coast hip hop. Right. I'm backpacker hip hop. Right. I'm lyrical hip hop all right. the way. Right. I mean, straight out the box, you tell me some guy from the South. Gonna come up with all this jewelry, gonna talk to me about Miami. Uh, but yeah, Miami, South gonna talk to me about how, how much money he made in the drug game, gonna talk about how much, you know, how many women he gets, talk about how much money he makes, how much of a boss he is. Mm -hmm. Man, get out of my face. I don't yeah. wanna hear you telling bedtime stories to a grown man. I don't wanna hear it. Now that is my initial response to it. Now, I'm sorry, you, what are you gonna no, do? Well, what I was gonna say though, it's like I agree fully with what you said. Now I was with you until I heard that song off of what album was that? Was that wasn't Trilla, was it? It was uh yeah, yeah, it was on Trilla. Trilla. The boss. Yeah. And the beat was just so you know me, if your beat is crazy, I'ma listen to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean the beat was just too ridiculous. I had to listen to what mm -hmm. this dude had to say. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, stepping it up a little bit to the next album, mm -hmm. you know, um Deeper Than Rap, great album. Production was off the chain. Off Justice the League chain. Is his production crew, and those cats actually bring him out something fierce, man. Mm -hmm. And if, the funny thing is, I think about Rick Ross and the whole Rick Ross situation initially, with even with the Fifty Cent situation in him. Mm -hmm. It's like listening to his music; isn't it? It's not even a contest. Yeah, yeah it's almost to me. It's like it's exactly. like it's like it's like the Biggie Tupac beef. Mm -hmm. I never understood it because to me, to me, two or Biggie was a way better MC than Tupac. To me. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't understand it. What y'all beefing about? <laughs> Music <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there ain't no contest. <laughs> let, let, you know, let's me, keep it moving. Okay? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So at any rate, that's uh, like that's about as that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's like it's legitimate. You know that's gonna cause a lot of trouble. Well, like, yeah, it, it, it is. It, right I'm, there alone. Used, I'm used to being the controversial guy on the internet saying things that people don't agree with all the time. You gonna have to duck when we leave the studio. Exactly, exactly. What? Not what? Not to, you know, exactly. That's that's another show though. But um, nah, but you know what? Down. Rick Ross definitely, like you said, with Fifty Cent, man, he's been through a lot. Everybody hating on him and like, oh, he was a corrections officer allegedly. Yeah, consistently yeah. when he drops his album, it's like, all right. It's music. <laughs> 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 what you gonna play? Exactly. You gonna play? You exactly. know, like, you can his play, job man. is to give you a hot album. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not to be a role model. Not to listen. Not everything in his life to be true. Not exactly. none of that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? To make it, to give a good album. That's what he does, mm -hmm. and he gives it to you. Right. 
so, what the problem is. Yeah, so getting into the uh, the current album, mm -hmm. it's called Teflon, Teflon Don. Don. I know that truthfully, I don't even like the name of the album. Yeah, it, to be, it's, 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 I'm paying for that's whack. Teflon Don. You were Teflon, Teflon Don. Don. You were Teflon Don. Teflon Don. Don. Now? That's whack. You yeah. Know, but, it, but again, I, right. I, I will tell you again, it's it is so a right. perfect storm. It is a perfect storm of, of good music. Good, good concepts and good lyrics. If the rap, if, if the rap, this whole thing up in the one word, I, I would say, grown. It's a it very, is, you know, it's a very grown. That's album. a great point you make on that because listen to now, you know, you know talking about the Rick Ross is very popular. The kids like Rick Ross the whole mm -hmm. nine. Right. But if you listen to the album, it's like if you took out the cursing and the subject matter, mm -hmm. you could play for the crib. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you can play for the crib. Right. You know what I mean? And the crib might be hating initially, but it's like you know. That is. But they're going to get over it. <laughs> <laughs> he said that is. He put a angle in it. They're going to get over it. <laughs> <laughs>